Hi, very well, thank you. I'm about from the upcoming. I know we had a brief chat on the red carpet at London Film yeah. Festival, <laughs> um, but it's really nice to have a bit longer with you this time. Um, so perhaps you can start by kind of telling us a little bit about what the film Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm saying I think I have the dream job at the moment, just being able to watch endless, amazing Christmas movies. Um, have you always been a fan of kind of the Christmas rom-com? Or was it the, the novel that, that made you want to adapt this particular story for the screen? I love a good holiday romance, of course. So I hearken back, you know, I love those those classic romantic comedies like When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle and My Best Friend's Wedding. Just, you know, the classic, timeless, feel-good romantic movies that pull at your heartstrings, make you laugh, make you cry. So when I saw Reese Witherspoon was producing this and Zoe Deutsch was attached to Star, I was like, yeah, I want in on that. And you've got such an incredible cast. Um, and even though obviously we're focusing in on Kendrick and Zoe's characters, it's kind of an ensemble as well. So how did you decide on these people and, and put them together and how did you work with them? Well, Zoe was attached and then it was just about finding the right cast to feel authentic and fresh and natural around her and unexpected and interesting. And so each actor that I chose with the team is so unique in their own way. It'll probably take too much time to go through each one, but you know, always just looking for actors that can be authentic and grounded and as three-dimensional as possible. And, you know, Kendrick is, is so charming and, and suave and cool and felt like the perfect, you know, um, partner to play with opposite Zoe. And they had this unique chemistry when the two of them met and we were like, Ooh, yeah, that we want, I want to watch more of that. And the thing that really struck me as well is, you know, like the, the diversity of the casting and the fact that you have, you know, a gay couple that's what, you know, the Zoe's characters, friends. Um, but that's, you know, those things aren't put front and center. They're just there. And I feel like that's in some way we've made progress, haven't we, from some of the rom-coms I grew up watching, which yeah. is more reflective of the society we live in today. Yeah, exactly. It's like, let's like make movies and stories about that reflect the true nature of, of the society and world that we live in. It's, it's colorful, it's diverse, it's, 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 yeah, gender fluid, it's gay, straight, bi, LGBT, it's everything, like, it's, it's, let's just have stories, have pluralism, and, and authenticity, and acceptance, and love, and, and have they, have them feel diverse, they, that's, that's, that's the world we live in, and the, and the world that I want to see. And it's so much infused with, kind of, the setting, the character of New, New York itself, you know, and that, you know, romance in the, in the kind of wintry air. I mean, I don't know if it actually was midsummer and you had to pretend, no. that, but how, how did you kind <laughs> of, you know, conjure this really kind of warm Christmassy feeling that we love from movies like this? Well, luckily I got to shoot in New York during the holidays. So that helped. And then we, you know, added our special sauce on top with production design and costume design and the cinematography and, and the way I shaped and, and shot it. But yeah, I mean, New York is such a key player in the film and I'm always trying to, you know, have the city that the film takes place in be a character in the story. So that was definitely a big component for that to feel beautiful and and fun and alive. And, you know, what do you hope people take away from watching films like this? Because they've always, you know, they are heartwarming, but it is really funny. And there is that nuance there about, you know, the different kinds of relationships we find ourselves in. And maybe, you know, on the, on the surface, it looks like you're with the right person. But actually, when you, you know, sometimes the holidays are a good moment to kind of take a step back and reflect. And actually, you know, are you going in the right direction in your life? Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah, a good message of the movie is just being honest with yourself. Right. It's like being truthful with what you want and what you need and saying those things and setting your boundaries and communicating with your partner and with your loved ones. That's like the key to a successful life and relationship. If we can all just do that so easy. <laughs> and can you quickly tell us what you might be working on next after this film? If you got something I, quite I do have an, a movie that I'm working on that I'm excited to try and make next year in Italy, which is like a big, fun family style comedy that's kind of like moonstruck and i can't wait to to dig into that amazing thanks so much yeah. for sharing all that with us can't wait for everyone else to see something from tiffany thanks thank so you so much a tight five minutes <laughs> <laughs> great thank you thanks so much thank